This was uh, a, a gift from one of the bakers, I think, and it says nice, tight, tight, smart, which I have no idea what that means. But it makes you think every day. Our day starts here at the bakery around 2.30 where a couple of people come in and start cutting um, some dough that's been prepared earlier and on the day before um, and we'll also prepare pastries we'll start baking our loaves of sourdough breads and other things. important to brush after each bake because otherwise there is flour will stay uh, you know, in the bottom and it can burn on the, if uh, it's low on, under the bread. Uh, that'll continue on with, in that process until around 6 or 7 o'clock when our packers arrive. We'll start packing everything up and then um, putting into boxes, um, preparing it all, everything gets divvied off and then we start sending it out around town. First run takes about two hours, yeah. um, for, at least for the CBD run. So we're going to 11 yeah. and I think <clears throat> Felix is going to about the same number and then I will again be delivering three customers later on. So yeah, it's uh, been a good morning so far. We've, um, we've struggled, we've struggled to get up, but I think it was well worth it. You know, the team here at Balbetta, amazing. And um, yeah, I'm ready for a coffee. Um, because we're working with an environment that's um, always changing, constantly, constantly changing as you feel this morning, it's quite cold. So um, we just have to adjust our water temperatures accordingly. I'm putting 31 degrees water in today, but depending on the day, tomorrow it might be sort of 21. You know, it could change like 10 degrees. The Waitaha Sauda, which is a A mix of, of two flowers, so uh, we've got a, a spray free from South Canterbury. And we've got another one here. This one's from North Canterbury, Scargill. The North Canterbury one is, uh, um, is more of a, uh, you know, because it's a whole wheat flour, there's so much more flavor inside it. The South Canterbury one is, is more structural so we're really looking at the structure for one of them and the flavour of the other, bringing those two together um, to, to form a, um, a well-rounded loaf. Okay, so this, this, is our, this is the Levan that's been sitting overnight. This is, this is basically the, the building blocks of any sourdough. Yeah, so this batch here will make about 70 or 80 loaves just here. Can you tell us about your cup? <laughs> I really don't understand this cup. Uh, this was uh, a, a gift from one of the bakers, I think, and it says nice, tight, tight, smart, which I have no idea what that means. Uh, so, um, but it makes you think every day. All right, Ben Runners. Here we go. Starting. Yeah. It's really nice because our products are straight from the oven. You know, they get out around 4:30 a.m., 5 a.m. out of the oven, and they are packed as soon as they are cooled enough. Which means people get products that are the freshest ever, 
and it's so satisfying when your croissant has these crunchy bits outside and just melt into your mouth inside. It's quite a, a special treat. Yeah, so right now Jessica's um, move, working her way around the city basically, um, delivering to all our customers, our, our wholesale customers around town. Um, and yeah, she's she's sort of she's on a time schedule, so everything has to sort of because of op people's openings and, th and things like that, they they need to set up and have all their products to them in time. So Jessica's just working her way around. Depending on what time our customer opens, we try and make sure that they've got their bread and pastries in time. So um, yeah, pretty important part of our process and everything we do. The reason why we get up at two thirty or one in the morning or whatever it is is to make sure that people get that end product in time to use it. People know Jessica for her enthusiasm, her energy. It's pretty cool. We got the passes for a lot of places. Feels like secret agents. <laughs> so bring croissants. Here we go. Um, yeah, she sort of, again, she delivers our product with a bit of passion. So that's that's really nice. Um, and we love, we love sort of that energy that she brings to the place. Good morning. Nice hat. Good morning. Good, thanks, how are you doing? And Jessica is also the first port of call for sales, so yeah, yeah. if so anyone's interested in being supplied by us, the, they, the they go, again. Jessica's the first That's person they, they talk to. The delivery run is a really good opportunity to have a good chat with your customers. It's only a few minutes, but because I'm here, we can um, yeah, get on it right away. So it's really nice having someone like that at the, at the front end, essentially, of, of, um, of the process. <laughs> I don't know. I've never heard Jessica put on any music. Um, she probably is blasting something in the van right now. Um. So, Jonas, this is Martin. Does your mum know you got holes in your shoes, in your pants? Yes, she does. Oh, my mum wouldn't want to wear any ghost sort of pants. Uh, so we've got a couple of additions that we make to, to both of these doughs. So one is uh, a porridge. Here's the porridge just here as you can see. And that's a really nice way to, to add some nutritional value and some um, substance. And I've got another one I'm doing right now which is going to be walnuts. Just so it doesn't draw all, all the moisture out of, our, out of our dough. Gluten has a pretty bad rap, you know, as a whole. A lot of people just try and take gluten out of their diet because it bloats them and things like that. There's a lot of story around this, but what, what we do at Bellbird is, is um, in an industrial process you get, sorry, just trying to remember my numbers here. Uh, we, we do a very long fermentation process, so it's, it's close to 22 hours. During that time, we're, we're developing a lot of flavor, um, helping that gluten to be pre-digested so that the customer that buys it um, has a really highly nutritional loaf that is, um, has some of the gluten that's pre-digested as well, which in the opposite to a, an industrial process where things happen a lot faster, a lot of that gluten doesn't get a chance to be pre-digested. So I think that's where our product really, um, there's a really big difference within the end product. A lot of people have better digestive experiences and also better flavor experiences with, with what we do in our process. So when the business started, it was a one-man uh, venture. Uh, Jeremy was doing it all by himself, uh, and he was only doing the farmer's markets on the weekend. So he was uh, making the pastry one day a week, freezing them all, and then Saturday very early in the morning, he would come and um, bake the pastries and prepare all the breads, and then take everything to the market, sell everything, hopefully, and then come back have a bit of sleep and repeat again for the, the Sunday. Uh, even before uh, Bell Bird was a brand, Jeremy was, uh, started making bread at home. He had a wood-fired oven in his garden and he um, was baking sourdough in there and then swapping the loaves for uh, veggies and firewood with his neighbours. Just working these walnuts in there. It's a bit of a messy job. I could do this with the mixer but it's such a small amount, so I just do it by hand. The hand becomes really important because 
you're working with science, but you're also working with your hands. And when you're working with your hands, you you have a real feel to the to the fermentation. If you if you become too scientific with it, then you kind of lose and lose the feel. You can end with end up with a terrible product. But if you combine those two, you can end up with a, a really great product. And that's where if every part of the process goes well, um, we're going to end up with a great product at the end. So that's kind of what we're striving to do. Yeah, so it gets a bit splashy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, go. You got a little bit on your lens there. This is the ciabatta that we're mixing now. So it's a way, it's a method to kind of get a lot of water into a dough without, um, if I was to just pour all this water in at once, it's just going to be a big mash of soup. So and it's going to never form, form a dough, but if I add it slowly, it's going to um, slacken off and then come back together. Oh, it's messy work. <laughs> At about 6.30, our shop person, Jackie, will come in and she'll start putting everything out on the, on the shelves, getting the shop all ready to open at 7.30. I've like squeezed you so hard into the corner. Hmm? I've squashed you into the corner. <laughs> Are you happy hiding there? Can I hide there too? <laughs> it's, quite, it's quite nice that you come in and you're in a hurry. In a, in a good way, you've got to get it all out by 7 but I love it when it's all out the front and you walk around and have a look and it looks full and it looks really good. If I was a customer and walked in, I'd be like, oh, I don't know what I want. <laughs> I am Denise and I'm a prep chef at Bellbirds. I've been here about 14 months. Um, I think it's just following through the, you know, having quality, using quality ingredients and actually making something that looks and tastes amazing. Right, so we're doing the egg mayo sandwich um, on a focaccia roll, which is really beautiful. Um, so it's free range eggs, which we poach off every day. It's mixed with a vegan aioli. It's seasoned, then we add spring onions. And to make the sandwich up, we put a little bit of vegan aioli on the bread. Then we add the egg mayo, then some mescaline, and that's it. Maddie, uh, Maddie works here, she, yeah, she's an interesting character and Nicholas Cage is one of her favourite um, actors. She did a printout of this one and um, it kind of moves around the bakery, it's just sort of like where's Wally. We also have a picture of Jeremy um, that kind of moves, yeah you can see Jeremy's hiding behind the... Um... That's so funny. So, so if you Put find it, it, it yeah, yeah. if you find it you have to hide it for someone else. Um, yeah, this is... A delivery from Farmers Mill, which is our South Canterbury um, farmers. This is um, this is about one and a half ton here, and that would that would do us for about the week. Yeah, I actually went to um, to see the mill for this one last year, and we met one of the farmers, stood out in the paddock with him, and in the wheat paddock, and uh, really cool to have that a conversation with the the grower. Not a lot of people know flour is a commodity product, so. Not a lot of people get the chance to actually meet the grower. So I think it's a really, um, it's kind of unique and it's something that we always strive to do is really know where our food comes from. You're right, Jacques. Jacques brings a lot of, uh, some interesting music taste to the, uh, to the bakery. <laughs> he sort of really looks after the, the early morning shift and, and it has a lot of skill in the, in the baking. Um, the experience you have in one bakery doesn't always translate to, to the next bakery you go to. So it's quite humbling actually because it's almost like clean slate. You forget everything you know and then really try and understand what that bakery is trying to achieve. We're not trying to change people. We're not trying to say, 
uh, we want you to be more like this or, or that. You know, it's really, um, we just want to kind of guide them gently through that process, which is how we, um, you know, that, that sort of runs really parallel within the breed baking process because we're sort of, we're always got our hands in it. We're always sort of guiding, guiding the bread through the whole um, process in order to achieve that really nice, beautiful product at the end. So I think there's a lot of parallels there. Yeah, around 8.30, we'll start turning all our doughs. So these doughs have just had a, a couple of hours of, of fermentation. So as you can see, they're, they're looking, um, you know, a lot more smooth now than, than what they were before. So, um, you know, they've, they, the development's happening. I can feel inside there's definitely a lot of um, action in terms of uh, fermentation. Um, so what I'm doing now is just doing doing a turn and this is just building um, a little bit more structure into the dough when you're doing three or four hundred kilos of, of dough it gets quite tiresome and we're sort of mindful of people's bodies and things like that and we don't want to it has to be sustainable you know they, these practices that we do have to be sustainable as well at the moment we see growth almost every day but in general if you if you do something well if you do a good product and you care about it people are going to want it you know if we went out there and tried to really beef up our sales and things like that would have all sorts of growth problems within so yeah we're, we're sort of happy to sort of happy to grow add some team here and there where we need it but not um not have to really um go through this massive exponential curve of growth and and all these problems that it faces Oh yeah, oh, hey, survive. Jessica's driving. <laughs> I've never seen you drive before, but I imagine you're very responsible. I mean, I'm very proud of you. <laughs> and then 9.30 we'll start shaping, doing our pre-shape of doughs. We're just cutting the doughs now, so using this machine, it's a 20 piece divider just a way to cut things much easier than um, by hand it, it, everything's portioned out really nicely so we can get that weight oops so these guys are, are pre-shaping um, everything into rounds so this shape in the end is going to be more of a more of a uh, oblong shape but we do appreciate um, if we go straight into doing the final shape then the, it would it would not look that great. So a pre-shape's really good for um, just sort of starting the starting the shaping process, getting a nice skin on the outside that will end up being on the outside at the end as well. How many cups of coffee do you go through? <laughs> um, I try and sort of limit it to sort of two or three, but it depends on the day. Yeah, we love our coffee here. Most most people uh, here drink a fair amount of coffee, but uh, I have to say it's definitely, you know, one of the most important ingredients in making a good loaf of bread from, from my perspective. Along with music, you know, there's lots of things that, that don't go into to the, to the bread as an ingredient, but they're definitely foundational in, in terms of um, the artistic approach. <laughs> Jacques, do you have anything else to do? Um, yeah, do you want to do that? And then maybe Talia can jump in here, yeah. We've said a lot of good things about you, Talia. <laughs> <laughs> no pressure. No pressure. <laughs> you can say boys are smiling. <laughs> <laughs> I, can't, I can't answer that question. And for you, Talia, what's it like learning on the job since you know, came here? Um, it's been really good. Um, yeah, it's definitely a pretty steep curve. Um, but everyone's super supportive. Um, and really good teachers as well. They all know what they're doing. <laughs> Someone like Talia comes through with, with no experience and really um, just jump in the deep end and um, just have that, she has that uh, want to learn. Then about 10.30 we'll do our final shape. So uh, these, these loads have had a chance to, to rest up now. Um, so we, we, we put some strength 
some structure into them before and we can't go into the final shape immediately. We need a little bit of time for that structure. Well, we kind of want to let that gluten relax a little bit before we go into a final shape. Um, if, we, if we didn't give this a rest in between, the dough will be tearing and it's kind of like uh, it's kind of like a rubber band where if you break it, if you stretch it too much, it will snap. <clears throat> so what we're doing now is going from that circular shape, that round pre-shape into a final shape, which in this case we're doing like a rugby ball shape. We're trying to get some of that structure in there and that aliveness. If we're to sort of put this through a machine or something like that, we're going to really damage that whole structure that, we've, that we're trying to achieve in the end. And it will also make the, the end crumb like really tough. Yeah, so we have these two, um, we have the oval shape, which we're doing now. We have a round shape, which we'll do the walnut in. And we have a, the baguettes are shaped into a traditional baguette shape. And batard is also a fairly sort of traditional shape. Um, that's more like a oval shape with, with points on the end. I'm really interested to see what people do with the loaves of bread in the end because we see it through the process but we don't always see the end result and some of the stories that go behind that you know like one chef I remember talking to recently was just saying how much he looked forward to the warm baguettes coming in the morning and then everything will go into the fridge overnight for the next person to come in at three in the morning. Okay, so once we've finished shaping, um, our breads all go into a, a room, a cold room, and these, these ones are gonna sit for around about, what are we now, 12 o'clock, so these are gonna sit till about four o'clock tomorrow morning. So we're looking at about 15 to 16 hours of fermentation where these are gonna really slowly come up. So this is really kind of a, a, a quite important part of our process. So Dave is bringing a lot of experience. He's worked in a bunch of um, bakeries before joining Bellbird in New Zealand and overseas and bakeries of all sizes. He's worked in quite large operations. So he's got a lot of experience with sourdough especially. We can always rely on him for any production related issues. <laughs> really for me, I became a baker just because I love eating bread and I love the the taste of it and I love that sort of long fermentation um, process. The flavours that you develop in that process uh, for me is what made me want to be a baker. Yeah, the future of me and baking, I, I want to get closer to the farmer and farming practices and things like that. So for me it's, it's about working more with the land and not being so extractive on the land. Hey, my name's Dave, I'm the head baker here at Bellbird Bakery and this is a day in my life and the bakery.